Welcome back everyone. Today we will create an accordion style menu or tab just like how Google uses it on their interface. We will create it using three basic elements, a line of text, a text character transform into a functional arrow, and a text block. Let's align the text and arrow elements to vertically and add them into an auto layout. We will give the newly created frame a different name, say accordion. Ensure the elements within this frame are set to zero. Choose questions and switch the horizontal resizing from fixed width to a fill container. The adjustment will enable the accordion to be responsive, allowing us to modify its size while ensuring appropriate resizing. Now, select both the accordion and the body text and place them into an auto layout. Set the spacing between the accordion and body text to zero. Change the horizontal resizing from a fixed width to a fill container. Now our frame is responsive. Select the accordion element. We can now proceed to create a component which will have two variants. The second variant will be open and the first one will be closed representing different states of this component. In the closed state, let's hide unnecessary details by selecting the body text and clicking the hide icon in the left panel. For the open state, we need to rotate the arrow to 180 degrees. Okay, it's time to create a transition between the two states. Navigate to the prototype stage by clicking from design to prototype on the right side. Choose the accordion to the closed state and drag the connector to create a transition to the open state. Opt for the smart animate option. Repeat this process for the open state. Ensuring when the user clicks on the accordion in the open state, they seamlessly return to the closed state. Keep the same animation as in the closed state to keep things simple. To test the component, generate a testing frame and drag the component into it. Create three questions within the frame to simulate an accordion section. Promptly adjust the spacing between the questions. Then select all three and put them into an auto layout. Let's test it out. Click the preview button to observe a preview of our element. Hopefully it works and it should look like the same accordion style that is shown on Google. Thanks for watching.